Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. I hope everybody's doing well. Today we're taking a look at a modern military poncho from Russian cold camo. One of the first pieces of military surplus gear that I ever got into after the Alice pack was the military ponchos. I tried a bunch of them out, um, the old German rubberized ones, the US ones, the civilian Miltech ponchos. I beat them up, put holes in most of them, and then I found the Soviet Union plosh palaka, the old canvas rain tent cape poncho, and absolutely love it. They're phenomenal, they're bomb proof, whether it's raining, snowing, doesn't matter, you can throw your fire right next to it and it's all good and they're cool. But the one issue that I have with them is they're made for somebody who's about five foot five and I'm six foot two and anybody that's that's used them in the modern day, I'm sure you've had the same experience or a similar experience. They're just a little bit small. So today we're looking at a brand new modern day Russian poncho from Russian Cold Camo. It is extra large and extra cool. Check this out. So today I'm wearing my Russian Bober pack, 25 liter salt pack. The new poncho fits right behind the beaver tail, this second external pocket on the pack. Both the poncho and the bag are EMR, so it's kind of a seamless blend. It's in its own zip-up carrying case. I'd say it weighs about a pound. There's a nylon webbing carrying handle on the back. So if you're lashing it onto your pack, this is a good place to throw the webbing through so it helps secure it, so it's not just held on by pressure. a very large poncho. Along the bottom edge, we've got heavy duty metal grommets. They're reinforced on the back to help prevent them from pulling out. You've got a total of four on each end. And on the underside, you've got these plastic toggles. Very similar to the wooden toggles on the Plosh Palaka, just a modern design. And you can use the toggles to help adjust the length of the poncho. The poncho is made out of a nice heavy duty ripstop style fabric. And underneath, it's got a rubberized coating. Very similar in texture and feel to the old German rubber ponchos, but much heavier duty due to the ripstop. All the seams are sealed, making it completely waterproof. It's very well made. So here it is with no adjustment. As you can see, a lot of coverage. If you're taller than six foot two, this might be fine, but for the average size human being, you're gonna use the toggles to hem it up. So just standing here with the poncho like this, it's draped down, my feet are covered, my legs are covered. The only thing that is exposed is below my elbow down to my hands, and if I need to get further protection. The storage bag that the poncho is rolled up in, it sits right at the front under the abdomen and it's a great place to stash your gloves, the hat, you know, anything you needed to keep dry as well as a place to warm your hands. So it is not breathable, but if it's cold out and it's wet and you need to stay dry and warm, it's going to help retain your body heat. So very, very nice. Now, most of the ponchos I've used in the past have been adequate enough for, you know, yourself, maybe a light day pack, but as soon as your backpack starts getting up in like the 50 liter, 60 liter ballpark, the ponchos become rather inadequate quick. You start losing coverage, but this extra large poncho, not only is my body, my clothing protected, I've got room for my backpack underneath. Before I show you guys the shelters, check this out. I've got it all laid out flat, 
huge bit of coverage. Right, I'm 6'2". That is awesome. Check this out in contrast to my other two ponchos I have with me. My good old plush palaka. And a Miltech poncho. The plush palaka is a little bit wider, but as far as the length goes, it is a huge difference and a huge increase in coverage. Now let's check it out as a shelter. Pretty cool, huh? For a lean-to, quick survival shelter, this is awesome. I've got room for myself, my gear, no problem. If I was traveling with a buddy and we had the same poncho, I think we could use the grommets and the toggles to attach them together and make a much larger shelter, you know, make a huge A-frame. Speaking of that, this poncho is almost exactly the same length as my Ratnik shelter. And although the grommets and buttonholes don't exactly match up, they could definitely be paired together to form, you know, a much larger shelter. But I'm going to save that one for a future video. Let's check out a plow point. Good old plow point with way more room than your typical poncho shelter. I've got three sides of cover, room for myself, my gear, you know, my bedding, fire out front, good to go. <laughs> Just in time for the rain. Oh. Perfect timing. I hope you guys can see the benefits of having an extra large poncho like this. I'm covered, my gear is covered, as rain wear, as a shelter option. Totally awesome. You can check it out for yourself at Russian Cold Camo. They actually have two different models available. This one, and then one that's a little bit shorter, so if you didn't need the extra length, but let them know I sent you. All right, everybody, I'll see you in the woods. Cheers.